Hey, nice legends. Today we're going to look at place value beyond millions. Now, you'd have to be a wizard to be able to do this concept, but we're going to look at being able to identify the grouping patterns used in numbers in the place values, reading and writing, ordering and comparing numbers all the way up to the 100 millions place value. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we actually doing this concept? Now, the main reason is actually numbers are a real uh, foundation or base for all parts of maths. And being able to know numbers that are smaller and larger than each other is really important. So being able to read and write them is probably the first step to being a good mathematician. Okay, what does success actually look like? So it's important that we can do these four steps by the end of this concept. The first thing is we need to be able to identify the grouping patterns. So we actually need to know that each of the, the place values are grouped in threes, and that helps us to read. The second thing that we should going to need to be able to do is know that we always read from left to right. So we read from the largest uh, group of place values first. We need to be able to identify uh, the place value in a large number. So we need to be able to say what place value does that number lie in and we should be able to say the exact house or the exact place value and the last thing is we should be able to then compare and order numbers by knowing that we read from left to right so I'm going to help you understand what the pattern looks like in these numbers so if you have a look we've split up our pattern into three so you can see here that I have the first pattern which is the ones then the thousands than the millions. You can see that there are three. You will be able to see that the first column is the one that gives it the naming. So you can see here the ones, we call it the ones. This one's the thousands, we call it thousands. This one's the millions, we call it millions. Now the way that it works is it keeps the pattern. And math is all about patterns. So if you have a look as we go up, follows the same patterns. It goes name, ones, then it goes tens, hundreds. It goes name, thousands, then it goes tens, hundreds. So it goes ten thousands, hundred thousands. Then it goes names, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Now the next one that we haven't got there is billions. So if we followed the pattern, it would go billions, ten billions, hundred billions. If we kept the pattern going, the next one is called trillions. So it'd be trillions, ten trillions, hundred millions. So if I use my colours now to show you, you can see the word tens keeps popping up on the second one. Same here, if I change my colour again, you can see hundreds keeps popping up. Hundreds, hundred, hundred. If you follow that pattern, gents, it will help you to read the numbers. Okay, so the first concept we're going to look at is reading and writing numbers. Now, Reading and writing numbers are two totally different skills, but if we can read a number, we should be able to write. If we can write it, we should be able to read it. Now, the first one is we're going, we've got a written number. Now, a written number there is already split up into groups of three, but I'm going to highlight them so that we can see them. There's a group of three there. They're called my ones. I've got my next group of three. They're my thousands. And I've got my last group of three. They're my millions. Now, I could very easily label that so it makes it easier for me. And I'm going to use O for ones. Oop, let me change my pen. O for ones. I'm going to use TH for thousands. And I'm going to use a capital M for millions. Now it becomes easy. Because I can read three digit numbers really well. And I could go 241 million. I could then go 776. And what's it called? Thousands. And then I'm going to go my 809. Now, we don't have to write the ones because when we say 809, we don't go 809 ones. We just go 809. So we leave it at 241,776,809. Now, the key in this is splitting it up into those uh, the, the group patterning of each three number. And when we do it, we start with the ones, then we move to our thousands, and then we move to our millions. The second part is we're going to work the opposite way. So we're going to start with our, um, how we'd say it, so 462 million, 190,000, and then 280. Now, once again, all we need to do is work in groups of three. So if you have a look, I've got three numbers. Whoop. Three num That's the wrong colour. Let's rub that out. Go yellow, we've got this colour, these three, 
and then these three. Now that's really easy. All I have to do now is take out my million, take out my thousand, and I'll actually have my answer right there. Let me change my pen. 462, 190, and 280. So our number would be 462, 190, 280. Okay, now being able to identify place values are really important. Not only are we able to know exactly where the house is live, but this allows us later on to be able to order and compare numbers. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is go to my highlighter pen and I'm going to highlight each of my bolded numbers. Now this is a really important step to make sure that I don't get the wrong one. Now I know that it moves up in groups of three so I'm going to underline my groups of three. I've got one group, two groups of three and then my last one. Now that's not a group of three but it's in the millions column. It's in that millions group. Now I know that it goes, let me get my pen out, it goes ones thousands, millions. Now I know my first column on my right hand side is millions and it goes 10 millions and it goes 100 millions. So in this case, the place value of where the five lies, the bolded number is millions. It's in the naming house, the first house on the right. Look at the next one. If I highlight, it's not in the one section. It's in the thousand section. Now, if I go from right to left, I go thousands, then I go Ten thousands on my next house. So I know that it lies in the ten thousands house. And I apologize for writing in red, but I forgot to change my pen. I'll do this one in blue. I do it again. I go group of three, ones, second group of three, thousands. So I know it has to be a thousand. The first house is thousands, ten thousands, and the next hundred is hundred thousands. So I'm going to write in hundred thousands. Now the way this helps us if I have to now order these numbers, I go to my highest place value and I know my highest place value is the one on the left hand side. All right, so I should be going this way, left hand side. Okay, so I know that in this case in my bottom number, the highest place value here is 101 million. So my grouping here, 101 million, it's bigger than 15 million, and 15 million is bigger than 9 million. So whenever we read numbers, if we line them up, we look at the highest house, so we obviously group in our threes, we should be always able to find which is the largest number. The smallest number is the one that lies closest to the right. Okay, we're up to the you do, and the you do parts where you're going to stop the video and have a go yourself. Now, the first two are the read and write questions. The first one's asking you to tell me how it would read. So remember, split it up into groups of three and label each of those groups of three. That will let you uh, understand that if you can read three numbers, you should be able to go the three numbers and then the name of the group. The three numbers and then the name of the group, the three numbers. And the second one is where you have to put it as a number. So remember, with that one, we just want to take out the group names and write it without any words involved. That's an easy one. On the second one, you're telling me the place value of what the bolded number is. Now, I've made my numbers really big so that they stand out for you to do. That would be really great to stop the video now and have a go. Okay, you've obviously had a go and you're coming back to check your answers. So let's have a look here. The first one here would read 342 million. Now, the reason it is million is what I should have done first is gone highlight, highlight, highlight the three groups. I know the first group is ones, the second group is thousands, the third group is millions. So I have 342 million. The second part there is 501, oh, wrong pen, 501 thousand. And then remember with the last group, we don't have to put ones, so we just put 421. On the second one, remember, we just cross out the words. So it is 102, 359,248. Simple. The next one, remember I talked about highlighting your groups of three. So we're not in the ones, we're in the thousands. 
We know that we are looking at the third one. So we go name 10 hundred. So we have 100, whoop, wrong colour pen again, 100 thousand. In the next one, let's quickly highlight our groups. Ones, thousands, millions. Now we're in the millions. We know we're not in the naming house. We're in the next one, which is tens. So done it again. Ten million. All right, we're in the 10 million house. Awesome. Now remember, whenever we are ordering or comparing numbers, always look at the greatest uh, place value or the, the largest place value. That's the one on the left-hand side. Uh, and make sure that remember our patterning, which is groups of three.